Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm starting today's video with the photo thoughts to give you a little bit of context and some of the things I'm thinking about in relation to why these photos look the way they do. Um, while I, I don't love these photos, a lot of these photos I like quite a bit and I want to explain a little bit about why I titled this video Seeking a Direction for My Street Photography. So here's the context. The last few weeks I've been feeling more than a little poopy about uh, things in life, both personally, professionally, and photographically. So I thought I'd share just a little bit about that and kind of where my brain's at and see if you can relate and help, again, help you understand the context of what's going on right now for me. One of the things I appreciate about this YouTube channel and the ability to help me create photos, encourage me to create photos, is that it becomes a bit of a diary as well. So thanks for indulging me in that. So let's start with the personal stuff. Personally, I had my uh, recent uh, wellness exam, the annual wellness exam, and I was reminded again, that I, I need to uh, be more careful about what I eat, pay more attention to it, and move more. So. I'm going to begin working a little bit more on those things, um, and that's a, a psychological and physiological change. Uh, also, I think and know that uh, those thoughts of health and wellness and, frankly, mortality as I get older are uh, more background noise in my brain. So there's that element. Um, as they say, you're not getting any younger, but they also say it's better than the alternative. So I try and keep that perspective as well. Professionally, what's going on a little bit is I just completed at the end of spring quarter in early June uh, two quarters where I was creating new content for an online class, or two online classes, one each quarter. They're new to me, so it meant uh, 20 to 25 hours a week extra stress of creating a curriculum, content, uh, and recording, editing, and making the videos that go for this online class. So it was a lot of stress. I did enjoy it. It was fun to do, but it was a lot of extra work. And I think I thought, ooh, when I'm done with that, all will be rainbows and kittens. But it hasn't turned out that way for a couple reasons. One, there's still this, the normal stuff of life going on. And two, I'm an adjunct faculty, which means we don't have an ongoing contract. We're quarter to quarter. Although there is a kind of an implicit agreement usually about what classes you're going to be teaching. So for me, my fall quarter, I usually teach three classes, but currently I'm only scheduled for two. So that's a little stressful. I'll probably get a third class, but I won't know that for sure until later in September. So I've got about eight, ten weeks of uh, while I'm wondering about that. Lastly, let's talk about my thoughts and feelings around photographs, thinking photographically a little bit. And um, I've been struggling a little bit in, in that, especially this most recent batch of photos that you're going to see in a minute. It feels like they're, they're lacking direction and intention, uh, and even they're lacking me, for want of a better phrase. Part of what I think has happened is I've been watching lots of YouTube videos to get inspiration because of feeling in a funk about personal stuff and professional stuff. Uh, so as I'm doing that, I'm seeing photos that I'm just amazed by and I'm like, oh, I wanna do that. I wanna do something similar. And then what I try and do, I think, is force uh, a type of photo on the context of where I go, which is downtown Bellevue, which just doesn't work. Um, kind of a longer version of why I don't think that works is, is Bellevue's a different city. Uh, while it's a pretty big city, which I'm gl glad for, there's lots of opportunities there, it's different. It's a relatively new city. It's pretty suburban. Uh, new construction is all concrete and steel. Uh, so it's a you know, after a while, they all kind of look the same. Um, there's not a lot of personality in the buildings. So that means you working differently in how creating compositions. Secondly, related to all that is because it's a pretty new city, it's not very dense. Uh, really wide streets, three, four, six lanes sometimes, wide sidewalks, and there's not a lot of density of people either um, at most of the time. So that means it's, it creates different photo opportunities, different photo making opportunities than, you know, a more traditional city in the U.S. like Boston, Chicago, New York, even L.A., uh, cities that have a much longer history or, for that matter, Seattle. But one of the cool things about Bellevue for me is it's convenient. It's pretty close to where I'm at and 
free parking. I can still get free parking. So in the midst of all that, that's uh, those are some of the good things. So there are lots of photo opportunities for me in Bellevue. And I think a year ago or maybe the year before that, I had mentioned in a video that I was going to lean into my street photography in Bellevue and finding what that meant for me. And I think I lost my way a little bit on that. I lost the focus, pardon the photography pun, on finding the way I want to make photos in Bellevue. Um, recently, I've been playing with different restrictions, playing with using different lenses uh, for these videos and for my photo uh, sessions. So I think the place I'm going to start for addressing my photo funk is to simplify things and go back to the way I was doing things and feeling good about the way I was creating photos. And that's to go back to my uh, three zoom lenses, my trio, the 10 to 24, 16 to 80, and 70 to 300, mostly using the 16 to 80. But because of the um, Again, the lack of density, that 70 to 300 comes in handy, especially when uh, doing noticing things in construction projects that are 200 feet in the air that a 23 millimeter lens just doesn't quite work for. So, so thanks so much for indulging me in this kind of diary moment. I appreciate it very, very much. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions on this or the photos that are coming up in just a minute, I would greatly appreciate that. So I'll see you again in a future video. Please watch these, uh, the slideshow of these photos and I'll see you another time. So until then, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for me for now, but watch the slideshow.